some major changes could come to two northern Kentucky cities. A vote is expected to take place in just a few hours on a plan expanding biking infrastructure in Covington. There's also a push to improve walkability in Newport as well. WCPO 9 News reporter Connor Steffen walks us through the plan. Plans are taking shape in northern Kentucky to make cities safer. Really critical that we remove those barriers. Covington and Newport have spent the past year and a half collaborating on a biking transportation plan, now near the end of development. In your own words, how would you explain this plan? is a great roadmap for improvements in intermodal infrastructure. Focus. Elizabeth Wetzel is Covington's Director of Special Projects and Intergovernmental Affairs. Helps us prioritize what are the most immediate needs. It highlights routes that we propose putting infrastructure on in the coming years, both short, medium and long term. Both cities partnered with the nonprofit Tri-State Trails on the project. Its executive director, Wade Johnston, says the plans first took shape in late 2022. There was a tragic fatality, Gloria San Miguel. San Miguel was in Newport riding her bike on the 11th Street Bridge when a driver hit and killed her before taking off. That created a lot of attention to the importance of this issue. Johnston says the plan lists recommendations for both cities to mull over. That includes infrastructure changes like adding bike lanes or connecting streets and operational changes like creating bike detour paths during construction projects. The plan is the latest effort underway in cities already tackling pedestrian safety. And here on Covington's 4th Street, crews will begin a right-sizing project next week shrinking the road down and adding a bike lane. And some of that is to help address some safety concerns. What kind of message do you think it sends to bike riders in Covington and Newport, this plan? So I think it is an important stake in the ground for cyclists in Northern Kentucky. Newport commissioners unanimously approved the plan during a meeting last week. Covington's Board of Commissioners are set to vote tonight. In Covington, Connor Steffen, WCPO 9 News.